Hello everyone, here I am. Today I'm back at Wimbarley Church and they're having their harvest this weekend. In fact, if I step aside, you can see some of their harvest decorations. They're very lovely. In fact, as I speak, someone's working behind the camera, making a display. Well, this weekend, as well as harvest here at, uh, at, at uh, Wimbarley, it's also a very important week because Sunday the 18th, is the day that we keep St Luke's Day and St Luke is one of the most important saints in the church. It's very important because he wrote the Gospel according to Luke and also the book of the Acts of the Apostles and he's helped people become Christians well for nearly 2,000 years now. He's a very talented man and we also know that he was some kind of doctor although if like me you've ever watched horrible histories when they've looked at how doctors offer treatments in the Roman times, perhaps he'd been a bit dodgy. I don't think I'd have liked to go to him with a sore throat. Well, something else that was very important about St Luke was he was a good friend to St Paul. Now St Paul, of course, is very, very, very important. His letters and the things that he's taught the church have really helped us think about who Jesus is and how we should live as Christians. Now St Paul, unfortunately, towards the end of his life, ended up being arrested just for being a Christian and he was arrested he was taken to Rome under arrest and he was there when the Emperor Nero was in charge and one day on the 19th of July in 16 AD there was a terrible fire in Rome and a lot of Rome was burnt down and the Emperor Nero because he was so mad people thought that he had done it and he didn't want to be blamed he hadn't done it actually it was an accident but he decided to blame the Christians and he persecuted them Paul's last letter was called the second letter to Timothy and in that letter he talks about all sorts of things but he mentions how when he was first put on trial there was no one there and lots of people have, have come and gone and left him but at one point he says only Luke is here Luke stood by him and although Luke was a very talented person a writer a doctor and he did great things, a, a fabulous saint. We've got, well, perhaps lots of things in common with him, but there's one thing that we can do that St. Luke did, which was turn up, be loyal, stand by, by Jesus, and be a Christian in the world. That's what, that's the beginning of being a saint. That's the beginning and the end of being a saint. It's the most important thing. So today we can give thanks for all of Luke's gifts, but perhaps the most important one one that we could really share in is actually turning up and being Christians in the world. Amen. Take care. Bye-bye.